the first thing we're going to do is check for the brake malfunction light. To do this, we must turn the key to the on position, not starting the vehicle, check for the light, which did come on, so this is a good test. The next test is the power boost test. We're going to pump the brake pedal five times, listening for the hum on each application for the power boost on the 95 and 97 series. On the fifth time, we're going to continue to hold the brake pedal down, starting the vehicle, and this will show that our power boost is working properly. So. There's a hum from our power boost. Holding down, starting the vehicle, and the pedal did move closer towards the floor. This shows that our power boost is working properly. The next step is to check for leaks in our hydraulic system. To do this, we'll pump the brake pedal five times. Hold on the fifth one. The brake pedal should not get closer to the floor. If it does, that means that we have a leak in a hydraulic system. Next is a service brake test. To do this, we're going to release the parking brake, put it in gear using minimal to dead throttles. We're going to let the bus roll. We use a little bit of throttle, get the bus to roll, stopping the vehicle using less than 60% of brake travel. We did, and that was a good test. The next test is the parking brake test. To do this test, we're going to put the bus in gear, leaving the parking brake set with minimal acceleration. We're going to try to move the bus forward. And the bus does not move. This is a good test for the parking brake. The last step is to check our service brake to make sure that we stop the bus. We are going to put it in gear, release the parking brake, make two complete stops before we leave the yard. There's one. And there's two. This completes our hydraulic brake check and everything checked out fine, I'm good to go.